Well, here we have a patient that has come to me for gynecomastia. And I'm just gonna go over some of the things that I see all the time. Because when people come in, what I will do is I'm gonna define where the actual breast tissue is. And that is, the, the breast tissue effectively is the gynecomastia. So I'm gonna draw that on this patient. And you can see that the breast tissue is this extent. So it goes to this, it's laid across the pec like that. But there's a couple other things that are going on that we need to address. And if we don't, it's going to make us less than the ideal result. Because it's not just about removing that gland, it's also about defining the chest. So when I say defining the chest, I'm just gonna go ahead and I'm gonna draw where the pec is. So the pec, you know, I can feel this is the bottom of the pec. So I, the pec will usually look like a hockey stick. So um, what we need to do, you can see clearly that this is where the, the chest fold wants to be, but this is where the breast fold is. So there's this, this thing that I call the breast fold to chest fold conversion. So not only do I have to remove that volume, but I also need to get this to lay down because if we can't create that defined chest fold, it's still gonna have that rounded, and that's what kills a lot of people because they don't like that roundedness to the breast. It obviously takes on more of a feminine quality than, than men would like. So we need to get rid of that roundness, turn it into that defined chest fold. There's one other part about it that we need to address. It's, it's the other part of the perimeter. So we're dealing with the breast will roll fat here. So even if you don't think that you have that much fatty tissue, there's all there's often this, this fatty pocket that if it's not removed, it's going to take away from the chest definition. And, and a lot of times people think it's cratering because what happens if you remove the central portion and you don't take out this breast roll or lay this the, the chest fold down, it looks like cratering. And it's not, it's not, it's not that like the guying was under or overcorrected. It's that the surrounding tissue is still too hot. So I'm going to just draw the, the, the final portion of that because up here there's often this pre-axillary fat that we need to get at, as well as the axillary fat. So that's really what gives you the chest fold, uh, the chest definition that patients are looking for, right? Yes.